is created by soda. And I also want to understand and learn the role that marketing plays in our society's unquenchable thirst for soda. We're going to hear a lot of conflicting evidence today. And it's going to be up to each one of us to decipher what that really means and what the ramifications really are. You know, this morning I was stuck in an elevator for 25 minutes by myself in the hotel. And uh, two fire trucks, uh, uh, LA Fire, had to come and rescue me. And so I, I took my coat, I sat on the floor, and luckily right before I got in the elevator, I picked up a copy of USA Today. And right here at the top, there's an article on obesity linked to specific cancers. 33% of Americans have increased risk. This is a study that underscores why we need to be concerned about obesity and the contributors of obesity, of which we will be hearing about today. Many things that Senator Padilla mentioned, so just one, the trend is undeniable. We know that, that, that a trend is a trend. We know that there's no nutritional value in soda. Both correlation and control studies show a link. Also that there are numerous and rigorous studies. And that there's been a 228% increase in calories from soda. That the average American consumes 52.4 gallons of soda and sweetened beverages just last year. And speaking of our children, and my grandchildren are age eight and four, uh, more than half of two to five year olds drink so soft drinks on a regular basis. 62% of adolescents drink at least one soda per day. Clearly, parents and grandparents need to be educated about risk of soda, as do our children. So in closing, just a couple things. You know, I, I majored in mathematics. I taught high school mathematics and was also a guidance counselor, which is my, ma my master's degree. It doesn't take a, a degree in mathematics to understand that we simply cannot keep up with health care costs. And that it is time here in 2009 for us really to understand what we are dealing with. And we, we do believe, and uh, we will have a lot of scientists and researchers giving their position as well as people on the other side of the issue. We really need to understand exactly uh, what is going on with diabetes and obesity and this just has to stop. This is the new frontier. We need to find out what is going on, and then we need to see that everyone is educated. So Senator Padilla, I am pleased to be here with you and with Senator Price and Senator Flores, and we'll enjoy hearing the testimony. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Alquist. Uh, Senator Price, Senator Flores, any uh, opening remarks? Senator Flores. Thank you. Um, Ms. Hahn. Thank you, Senator Padilla. I, I would like to say uh, again, uh, thank you. Senator Padilla and I have been on the floor uh, along with Senator Alquist and uh, Senator Price working on water. And I think Senator Padilla has heard me say numerous times over the last couple of days, this might well be the most important hearing uh, that the California Senate has uh, beyond water. I, I would say that we have an epidemic. I can tell you that uh, we spend $41 billion a year in California on obesity-related health care, $41 billion. And as we start to think about health care, as we watch what is occurring at the national level, uh, we cannot uh, forget here in California that we absolutely have an epidemic. Uh, Senator Padilla has been in my area many, many times, just a few hundred miles away from here. Uh, and I can tell you that at, at this point in time, uh, in the Central Valley, 19 people a week die from obesity-related health issues. That anywhere else in the world would be, be called uh, an epidemic of, of proportions that we would move uh, lightning speeds to resolve. Uh, I can tell you that uh, as we are moving as a nation very quickly to deal with the swine flu and H1N1, we need the same focus to work on this as well. More people a week are dying from diabetes particularly in the Central Valley, than anywhere in the world per week on H1N1. And I want to thank Senator Padilla for having this hearing. Uh, clearly, uh, this is a disease 
that we're going to be talking about, diabetes related, particularly to soda, that we need to resolve. Uh, as you know, it's a disease that stills eyesight. It's a disease that burns nerves. It's a disease that, uh, in essence, allows for these types of things and our healthcare costs to go to proportions that one can't talk about, uh, I think, even and think that the government shouldn't be working quicker and faster on it. I'd also like to say that I do come to this hearing a bit, Senator Padilla, with a bit of a bias. Uh, I can tell you that uh, I would like to end the Pepsi generation. Uh, these sodas, uh, these marketing uh, tools that go to Latino youth, particularly in California and in particularly in my neighborhood, uh, are appalling. Uh, as we, at some point in time, eliminated Joe Camel, I will tell you that uh, the marketing, particularly to the Latino community that has the highest diabetes rates, the highest death, death rates need to end. And I would say that uh, Senator Padilla mentioned earlier, a tax on soda uh, at some point in time is needed. It would be my viewpoint only. I know that Senator Padilla has worked diligently on a whole host of health-related food issues and calories and et cetera, but I want to thank him for holding this hearing. I think uh, this is a monumental hearing for the California Senate. Uh, Senator Padilla knows that in our area, the Central Valley, we were ranked number one in terms of soda consumption. And I can tell you that in the Latino communities, farm working communities in the Central Valley, our rates are two or three times higher than any other rate in California. It is an issue, it is a slow killer, and I think that this hearing hopefully will bring to light the, the crisis that is before us. And as Senator Alquist has mentioned, uh, it is a crisis of proportions that we need to get our hands around. So I want to thank Senator Padilla for doing this. And I look forward to hearing the testimony. And more importantly, I want to thank uh, Senator Alquist, as chair of our Senate Health Committee, for consistently being on this issue as well. And I look forward to listening uh, to the testimony. Thank you. Senator Price. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, really, is a pleasure to be uh, here today w with you uh, and Senator Alquist. We appreciate uh, the leadership you both have demonstrated uh, in this very, uh, very important area. Um, when uh, uh, asked to uh, join this select committee, I jumped at the opportunity. Certainly, um, in um, the parts of Los Angeles that I represent, the, the, the cross section uh, of citizens, uh, obesity is a problem. Uh, and so uh, uh, I certainly want to make certain that uh, I'm better understanding the issue, under, better understanding what's been done and what can be done uh, to, uh, to more effectively address uh, this problem. So I look forward to the uh, testimony, appreciate the, uh, those that will be um, providing testimony and um, look forward to their comments. And again, uh, Mr. Chair, appreciate your leadership on this issue. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, let's uh, get right into the agenda then. Um, before I call up the first panel, let me just recognize there's copies of the agenda available if you don't have uh, a copy in front of you. But we do have six panels uh, scheduled today. The first uh, will explore the link between sugar, sweetened beverage consumption, and obesity. Uh, there's reports out that suggest there's a link. Uh, let's uh, talk about that. The second panel uh, will discuss the health consequences of sugar sweetened beverage consumption. Uh, our third panel will be a panel of industry representatives uh, as they will provide their viewpoints uh, without a doubt uh, possibly contesting or refuting some of the information presented by the first uh, couple of panels. Uh, the fourth panel will uh, explore more specifically the marketing of sugar sweetened beverages and its impact. Uh, the fifth panel, again, of industry representatives to uh, continue to, to comment uh, or counter information 